Tired of you killing me, it's time for revenge. I am a Bronsted Lowry acid, and oh. you are a Bronsted Lowry base. Oh! I've become a conjugate acid, and I am a conjugate base. So it's hard to talk about Bronsted Lowry acids and bases without first considering the traditional or Arrhenius acid and base. So, a traditional acid that produces H plus AQ, so that is a hydrogen ion in water and a traditional base produces the hydroxide, or OH- ion, AQ. And of course, if you react those two together, you will in fact get water. And let's take a sidebar on Svante Arrhenius himself. Now, often I take a little detour, but it's worth it. He discovered uh, that carbon dioxide is responsible for the greenhouse effect, which may indeed kill us all. But he was also a member of the State Institute for Racial Biology, now that doesn't look like it's going to help you if that's on your resume. Essentially, people with blonde hair and blue eyes were wonderful, everyone else less so. But he died of intestinal catarrh. He was blocked up essentially with... <laughs> Nasty. So if I take the lid from the ammonium hydroxide, which is ammonia and water, pop that there, and then take the lid from the concentrated hydrochloric acid. If I put those together, oh, that's kind of freaky. Now, there's no water involved in this reaction. It's the ammonia gas from the green lid and the hydrogen chloride gas from this reacting together to make solid ammonium chloride. There's no water, so it can't be an Arrhenius acid base reaction. So let's look at that example uh, in a chemical equation. Ammonia and hydrogen chloride makes ammonium chloride. And so according to the Bronsted-Lowry theory, a Bronsted-Lowry acid donates an H+. So a Bronsted-Lowry acid is a proton donor. And a Bronsted-Lowry base is a proton receiver, or an H plus receiver. There is no water and there is no hydroxide ions in the Bronsted-Lowry theory. And Bronsted never actually met Lowry, apparently. So Bronsted-Lowry acid, proton donor, which is the same as an H plus donor. Hold on, hold on. How is a proton an H plus? Well, a hydrogen atom is a proton and an electron. And so if I strip off that electron to make a hydrogen ion, indeed, that is just a proton. Bronsted-Lowry base is a proton acceptor couple of equations. Let's try and find the Bronsted-Lowry acid, Bronsted-Lowry base. Looking at the top one, you can see that HCl has turned to Cl-, minus, so it's lost an H+. Plus. So that must be the Bronsted-Lowry acid, leaving the water to be the Bronsted-Lowry base. In the example below, they're both acids, nitric and sulfuric acid. But notice the sulfuric acid is receiving a proton, so that's the Bronsted-Lowry base. Now, water can react with itself to make H3O+, the hydronium ion, and the hydroxide ion. So water has donated an H+, and water has received an H+. And so the word for that is amphoteric and amphiprotic, but that's for another video. So let's look at these. Are they Bronsted-Lowry acids? So nitric acid, that's a strong acid, and it does actually donate an H+. Methane, those hydrogens are not going to come off to make hydrogen ions. And so methane is not an acid. The clue's in the name. There is no word acid in methane. And methanoic acid, indeed that is a Bronsted-Lowry acid. It donates an H+. But there are two H's possible to donate. And you have to learn it's the one attached to the oxygen not the one attached to the carbon. Another little question the IB likes to ask is the three dissociations of phosphoric acid, H3PO4. So H3PO4 seems to lose a proton, so that's going to be the acid 
which means the other one must be the base, in this case water. The hydrogen ions continue to fall off, leaving that the Bronsted-Lowry acid and the water again the Bronsted-Lowry base that receives a proton. And let's look at the water this time. Well, the water's gaining an H+, so again, it is the Bronsted-Lowry base. Now those double-ended arrows are equilibrium, so we can look the opposite direction. So in the reverse reaction, the hydronium ion is behaving like the acid, and the H2PO4 minus ion is behaving like a base in the reverse reaction. So for Bronsted-Lowry bases, of course they are proton acceptors, can you identify them? Well, the first one, lithium oxide is the Bronsted-Lowry base. And now, I don't want to confuse you, an arrow normally means the movement of two electrons. But in this case, I'm, the arrow is showing the movement of the proton. So an arrow here is showing how the proton is moving. Bronsted-Lowry bases, both of those two. Ammonia is the Bronsted-Lowry base. It receives the H+. Plus. And where's the fourth one? Ah, well, there's a reversible reaction. So going back the other way, the hydroxide ion is the Bronsted-Lowry base. All right, I'm a Bronsted-Lowry acid, and you, my friend, are a Bronsted-Lowry base. Boom! You're a conjugate acid now. What do you think of that? <laughs> do you want to be a Bronsted-Lowry base? Um, Don't move. Matt, do it. You are now a conjugate acid, sir. Thank you. All right. Thanks, man.